We've had the JC stomp, now it's time for the JC flow. Golf coach JC here at the Peter Cowan Academy at the Emirates Golf Club. So last time we spoke to you a little bit here about the JC stomp, you'll probably remember the body track. Today I'm gonna to take you through the JC flow, how we flow through the golf ball using our momentum to hit the ball further. So we're gonna start in the car park when you arrive at the golf course and we'd like to see you doing the warm up drills, um, warm up stretches. Imine springs to mind, not a young chicken but goes through those nice warm up drills before he hits balls. Uh, we're gonna start here with just a little exercise. So it's about our hip internal external rotation and we're just gonna do what we call letter T's with the feet. So in the back swing here, we, we move the left foot in front of the right foot, and we do a few of those. And if you want to even, you can allow the momentum to take you around a little bit further. And then the through swing would be the opposite, getting the hip to make, or the right foot to make T's with the left foot. Notice my left foot turned out a little bit just to encourage the movement. And then we can start using the flow to get through into the left side. So nice little warm up exercise. And then we can link that very much into how we warm up. So instead of getting the driver out of the bag or the seven iron out of the bag and, and going for the full swing, we're gonna start with the wedge and we're gonna use natural forces, a little bit of the flow, the, the weight of the golf club to just drop down through the ball and we're gonna hit the smallest shot possible. So quite often here, we might see a bit of the wrists. We might see the body leaning back to lift the ball, all sorts of things happening. Instead of just letting the club drop and flow through the ball. You might notice from side on here that my body weight, when I'm setting up to it, my pressure is slightly ahead of this line of balls. And as I work down through the ball, it's the down force that's creating the spin through the ball to lift it. And as we go and warm up, we can just increase the backswing, increase the forces. And as you can see from the result of the ball there, each one is gradually growing. And by the time I get to the end of my chip shots, you can see how much work my body is actually doing as a natural consequence to the flow through the ball. So let's take that a bit step further. So last time we spoke about the JC stomp and the importance of keeping the mass centered and the pressure is going to shift so we're not moving around too much. This is called the JC flow. Um, actually, I stole that from Dr. Kwan. He's a biomechanist in the States, a scientist. And what we're saying basically is ordinarily we might see somebody move from the right and to the left and we don't know how much movement we're gonna have. That's very much the body moving, the muscles moving around, it's not very consistent. And we might even see that somebody would move to the right and then move to the left to do this exercise. Uh, what we actually want to see is a little bit of cross uh, movement along the body. So we want the, the left side and the right side working in stretch and then unstretch. So we coil up and we coil down. You can see as I'm going through this motion, as I'm going in the backswing, I'm already working the ground to change direction to bring the club down and then I'm throwing, uh, flowing through the ball into the through swing. So you can see how the, I'm moving the feet just to exaggerate it and working down the line. You can see how my body's flowing through the ball. So the exercises um, can be exaggerated. So here you can see I've set the balls off to the left and what this is trying to encourage is instead of me moving my mass left to get to the ball, I've got to work the forces correctly to enable the motion to go through the ball. So what I mean by that is if we let the club work, there's a lot of forces acting on the body as too is the body acting on the club. Quite often we see people trying to get into positions, moving the body to try and get the club in spot. But as you can see there, the club's moving sideways. We call this a drag and then it, it'll equate to something happening that we don't want to see in the golf swing. Whereas vice versa to that, if I work the club and I work the body out to the club, we create an arc or what we like to call Pete Cowan Academy, pressure on the arc which is naturally gonna have an act on the body. There's forces acting on the body. So those forces, if we get them acting correctly, are gonna exit towards the target. So you can see how the spirals up, the spirals out on the arc, creating a down pressure, which naturally working the body into an up thrust in the through swing. So it sounds complicated, but actually if we just do the exercise and we let things flow, you can see how my body actually wants to go this way. One of my favorite players of all time being Gary Player, how he used to take that step through. And you can also refer that perhaps to Imenez, how he does that practice swing before he hits the golf ball. So just like we had the balls positioned to the left to encourage that downforce, actually I've positioned the balls off to the right now. Now this is the actual hardest one of the drills in that when I'm moving the, the pressure around and trying to stay centered, like I said, there's forces acting on the body. 
and I'm gonna take a step into the backswing, which ordinarily would make somebody move too much. And then how do we get back? Do we slide to the left? Do we move to the left? Something that people always struggle with over the top, not necessarily over the top there. It's more the fact that somebody's perhaps moving in a different sequence pattern. Whereas if we use the natural forces and we let the natural sequence come from the top down, you can see I'm working harder to get the pressure down to actually still get me through the golf ball and have that flow through. So a nice little exercise we can do as we're doing this one is to let, just as we did at the start, we're gonna link in that toe T with the right foot and we're gonna have that motion come through the golf ball. We're gonna have it go down and through. We're flowing through into that letter T. Really like that exercise. So we're getting our body weight, our pressure, not past the ball. We're getting it to come down with the movement of the swing, keeping the pressure on the arc and then naturally through the golf ball, allowing the weight of the golf club to help us. So. I hope that helped you there. For any more information, pop down to the academy, ask me some questions, and I'll see you next time.